Hey guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel, ESP Daniela. So as you already know from the title of this video, I will be sharing with you all a whole bunch of different scholarships that are given out by corporate companies. And the reason why I wanted to put this together is because so many times we spend so much money at these companies while not even knowing that they are willing to pay for our education and make it cheaper, if not completely free. So let's just get into this video. The really cool thing about some of these scholarships that I will be sharing with this series that I'm doing is that quite a few of them I have personally been able to help people win. I have had several students win these scholarships back to back years. So yes, it is possible for you two to win. You just got to have a strategy. And speaking of strategy, my other YouTube videos talk about how to go about scholarships the right way because so many people don't do it right. And that's why they keep getting rejected, unfortunately. And I also have a book which details my step-by-step -step winning strategies to winning, as well as an online course that gives even more of my strategies and thoroughly analyzes my winning applications, other people's winning applications. So you can understand what goes into winning not just one, but multiple scholarships. But anywho, let's get into this video. Okay, so I am currently on Zoom right now. So I'm going to share my screen with you so you can see some of these scholarships that I'm talking about. So first we have the Taco Bell Live Moss Scholarship. And as I said earlier, I have been able to help several students win this scholarship, three in particular, two just this year, 2022, when I'm recording this video. And one thing I want you to keep in mind about this particular scholarship is that it requires a video application, which is somewhat different than what you would expect with most scholarship applications, which require an essay. So with one student in particular who I helped win this award, we had to go through not one, not two, but actually five rounds of revisions. He's in my online course and he got the $5,000 award amount. And this scholarship, it varies in amount. Some people get like 2,000, 5,000, 10,000, 25,000, whatever it may be, but he got 5,000. And then those other two students that I mentored, she got 5,000. And then that mother, her son, he got $10,000. So anywho, as far as the eligibility, it says here that you have to be a legal resident of the United States. You also have to be currently enrolled in an accredited post-secondary educational program. And as I said earlier, you have to submit a video of two minutes or less, but I recommend going with the full duration because I'm pretty sure you have a lot you want to cover and talk about with your video. And one of the cool things about this particular scholarship that one of those students who I mentored let me know was that she was actually able to renew the scholarship after she initially won it. So when she initially won it. I believe she got like $5,000 or maybe $2,000, something like that. And the next time around when she renewed for the scholarship, she ended up getting even more money than she initially got the first time. So make sure that you really look into those scholarships that have a renewal process if you have already won them. And this doesn't just pertain to like corporate scholarships. This can be any type of scholarship, whether it's offered by like the college or an external foundation, nonprofit, whatever it may be. So next up, we have the Burger King Foundation scholarship. Now, I personally know several people who have been able to win this scholarship. It's pretty competitive, just like these other ones that I'm mentioning. But of course, it is still possible for you to win. And as you can see here, it says to date, the program has awarded more than $50 million in scholarships to more than 43,000 students. And just last year alone, they were able to award $4.5 million in scholarships. So next up, we have the McDonald's Hacer National Scholarship. So here's a pro tip when it comes to being on the actual page page of these scholarships, I like to use control find or command find on my keyboard so I can automatically locate where the eligibility is. Because typically with these websites, they'll just show you all this other information that you don't necessarily really need to know. You mainly need to know if you're even eligible to apply. So let me just type in eligibility. I typically don't write the whole word because sometimes it'll be eligibility or just be eligible. So there is showing eligibility press learn more. As we can see here, for this scholarship, you have to be a high school senior, a legal U.S. resident, younger than 21 years old, carry a minimum of a 2.8 GPA, which is pretty great because a lot of scholarships will be like you have to have a 3.0 or a minimum of a 3.5. So it's good to know that there is room for those in the 2.0 range. You're eligible if you attend a two or four year college or university with a full time course of study. And this is important to know 
know, you also have to disclose other scholarship programs that you have applied for. Now, I'm not too sure if this extends to also telling them what scholarships you have actually won, but you at least have to tell them what scholarships you applied for. So if you apply for like a whole bunch of scholarships, like I did, I applied for like over 100, maybe you want to instead hyperlink to like the list of all the ones you've applied for rather than individually putting them into their portal application. And with this scholarship, you have to have at least one parent of Hispanic Latin heritage. And for the scholarship, winners are selected based on their academic achievement, financial need, community involvement, personal qualities and strengths, and so forth. Okay, so now let's get into the scholarships that are offered by the drinking companies. I just covered some that are offered by the food, fast food companies, but now for the drink. So first we have Coca-Cola, and this one, just as the other ones, is a very super popular scholarship to apply for. I know several people who have won it. So once again, I typed in eligibility on here to see who is eligible. And this frequently asked question says, I'm an international student. Am I eligible to apply? Unfortunately, this one is only for U.S. citizens, U.S. nationals, permanent residents, temporary residents. And then it says, I am a non-traditional student or I took a gap year. Am I eligible to apply for the scholarship? And it says only current high school students who will graduate during. Now, this year will change year by year because they have the scholarship every single year. So don't pay any attention to this, depending on when you're watching this video. But as I was saying, it's only for current high school students. And from the looks of it, it's mainly for high school seniors. So next up, we have the Dr. Pepper Tuition Giveaway Scholarship. Now, this is one of my personal favorites favorites because I had a student back in 2020 who actually won this scholarship worth a hundred thousand dollars and he was able to win this not during like high school because you know a lot of scholarships are only for like high school seniors but he won the scholarship during his sophomore year of college as an art student like non-stem because again there's another misconception that you can only really win scholarships as a stem type of major but he's an art student won this for 100k and with the scholarship he had to submit a video application and so with that being said I also offer a service of where I personally review scholarship applications videos, essays, all that. So make sure to check out all the services I have on my website. Now, as a pro tip, I would highly recommend that when you are coming across a video application scholarship or essay application, if they show you on their website like they do here, the winning videos of those students who actually won, study those videos, study how they start their videos, how they end it, how they communicate their message and so forth. In my online course, I thoroughly analyze video applications from winning students I've helped and even essay applications. So make sure that you do the same on your own time because there's so much that goes into scholarships. So with the scholarship, you first have to create a free profile at drpeppertuition.com. And then from there, briefly describe your goal of how you will change the world. And then the next step would be to upload your video and tell them how winning the scholarship will impact your life. Now, I recommend that you press right here where it says frequently asked questions FAQ for the video guidelines, because there is a lot that goes into video applications. So as an example of this, if you are filming your video and you are wearing like a logo from a different brand, a different company. And even if your video is like the best application that they had out of all the people who applied, you actually automatically disqualified yourself for that opportunity because they cannot have the brand of something else in their video. And as an example of this same thing almost happened to the student I mentioned earlier who won that $5,000 scholarship from Taco Bell. So when we went through his fifth round of revisions for his video, in his background, he actually had his fridge, which was like a Samsung fridge and their logo was showing. And so I was like, okay, this video is now perfect, except for the fact that you have this logo, you gotta blur that out. And so he blurred it out, submitted his video. And then months later, he won the scholarship. So with that said, make sure to keep that in mind because you don't want to automatically disqualify yourself for this and make sure you have the right type of video file that they're looking for, whether they want an MP4, an MOV, whatever it may be. And as you can see with this scholarship, you are eligible if you meet the ages between of 18 to 24. And again, don't pay attention to the year here because this scholarship is given out just about every single year. So last on our list, we have this scholarship from Starbucks. 
So with the eligibility for this scholarship, it says all U.S.-based eligible partners employed by Starbucks-owned businesses, regardless of role, who do not yet have a bachelor's degree are eligible to apply. Now, another thing I want to note about this particular scholarship is that I believe it's only, yes, it's only for those trying to do Arizona State University's online program. So if you have an interest in some other school or you're currently enrolled in some other school, this scholarship isn't necessarily for you. But if you are interested in the school, then it is a full tuition opportunity. Now, I want to mention this as well. Let me stop sharing my screen real quick. There is a difference between full tuition versus a full ride scholarship. So with full tuition, that means that they are paying for the academic side of school. So like your classes, your books, et cetera, whereas a full ride, they are paying for that on top of other expenses like housing, transportation. So make sure that you are understanding the difference between the two and just know that a full ride is better than full tuition. Now, if you want the full list of all the scholarships that I will be talking throughout the series that are from corporate companies. Um, I made a Google document listing them all out. It's totally free. All you have to do is first follow me on Instagram at Carly, C-A-R-L-E 100, and then DM me with the word COSCO, which stands for Company Scholarships. I just abbreviated. But anywho, I hope that this video was helpful. Make sure to watch all the other videos linked on my YouTube channel. I have a whole playlist of them, mainly scholarship advice, and follow my socials. I'm mainly on TikTok. I'm pretty pretty big there, not to brag. Again, there's my scholarship services, my book, my online course. I'm going to drop here this promo code you can use for my online course if you want to get that for cheaper. But yeah, that's about it. I hope you have a wonderful day and good luck.